Now, before we get into all of that juicy stuff, I want to quickly recap on this insane build by eTuners India. So, if you're new to the channel and you haven't watched the previous video, which is part one, this is eTuner India's VRS 600, and this is part two. Now, of course, the color of the car has changed since we last filmed it. It was white uh, in the past and now it's in this beautiful green. Most of the time it looks black and I'm pretty sure in the camera also it is going to look black. But you have to see this color in person. It is very nice and like the sparkle and everything in the color is just quality. The paint job has been done here at the Mechanics Automotive. So if you're interested in paints or something, do contact them. Uh, the boys over here like to call it JSR Green. I'm not sure what the full form of that is. but. I don't want to know what it is. Uh, apart from that, it also has some carbon uh, trim pieces here and there. For example, these beautiful looking carbon uh, mirror caps. At the end, uh, Sriram has added the Maxton carbon diffuser. A splitter is also on its way and it hasn't been fitted yet. Uh, apart from that, you can see it has the HRE wheels just like they were in the last video. Uh, we were telling Sriram to get them done silver. but that was not possible in the time frame that he had behind the hre wheels you have tts brakes the rotor size is basically the same 340 mm uh, but the two piston brake calipers have been upgraded to four piston brake calipers so that is a big upgrade and the stopping power is ridiculous but apart from that i mean it's nothing really that flamboyant unless and until you can notice the paint which is very difficult to notice at least on camera it still looks pretty much like a stock vrs and that's the cool thing about it it's proper sleeper so under this Audi TFSI engine cover which is kind of banter this is a fully built 2 liter TSI engine and it produces 576 horsepower and around 650 newton meters of torque and this is no joke I mean it's a fully built engine let me pull out my phone just like last time and mention some parts that I did not mention last time so first of all some changes have been done to the cylinder head for better airflow and for the exhaust gases to move around a little bit better. So a completely billet aluminium uh, manifold, billet aluminium uh, oil sump. It has a 600 horsepower plus GTX 3076R Gen 2 ball bearing turbo, which is in a IS38 housing hot side. A turbo smart turbo inlet, uh, NGK R7438 spark plugs uh, you just know the gist this is a proper built engine i'll put a list of all of the parts that have been changed right over here on the screen for you to check out so pause as you go but this is basically the most insane build i have at least come across the turbo noise while driving the spooling noise while driving is just wild let's just hop inside before we take it out for a spin Hop into the interior and you might be thinking that there must be wires hanging, panels not fitting properly but it's nothing like that. It's pretty much a stock VRS inside because the workmanship is so good. The fit and finish is really really nice and I mean there are a few modifications in the inside as well. For example, uh, like last time I've told you this beautiful looking steering wheel with the forged carbon, the paddle extenders. Uh, the handbrake has been changed to an electronic handbrake and last time the fitment was not really that good that's why we didn't show it but now a proper panel trim and everything has been fitted so it looks OE now. Uh, there's something over here that I cannot really talk about but yeah over the shots I'm pretty sure you'll understand what it is but yeah overall a pretty standard looking VRS interior surprisingly no check engine lights or anything like that on the dashboard and let's take it out for a quick spin. Hold up have you checked out our website? TheDriversUp.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this, a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. So now I'm inside the VRS 600. I am going to be uh, driving the car now. So I just wanted to show you how the car cranks and how it feels when you actually start up the car. So push button start. So it's over here. <laughs> oh, 
the idol is like a race car and i'm not kidding when i'm saying race car and anyways i'm pretty sure you guys have seen part 1 and in that i have told you that this is a fully built 2 liter tsi engine and the noise even at idle that this car makes is unlike anything else i've ever heard i mean it idles like a proper race car and you have this chunky looking steering wheel in front of which has forged carbon alcantara inserts and massive paddle extensions and yeah so let's just give it a little poke smack it into manual <laughs> the way this thing builds speed is just insane <laughs> holy sh I'm trying to think to say something but I just cannot say anything because this thing is just too wild. I mean the turbocharger is a GTX 307R something something Gen 2 and it's in an IS38 housing so it's some mad mix match of parts to get the maximum amount of power out of the turbocharger and I mean it's just wild how fast and how brutal the acceleration is <laughs> and once you lift off the accelerator you can just hear pops and bangs and they're not like normal pops and bangs which you are used to hearing it's something like a race car i mean it's just a race car engine in a normal octavia vrs's body that's how insane this thing is And when it comes to the gearbox I want you guys to speculate what gearbox this thing is running. I'm not going to say what it is because eTuners India and the master coder uh, Shri Ram wants to keep it a little bit of a industry secret of what they have done. But I'm pretty sure that if you watch the B-roll closely you will understand what this thing is running. So if you know what this thing is running in terms of a gearbox comment down below. The thing is I cannot push this car too hard because the thing is it has a lot of new engine work done and the engine hasn't been properly run in so i cannot show you the full potential of the car maybe a part 3 is needed for that i'm not sure we might be going to hyderabad soon to meet the guys who have actually built built this thing and cover more amazing stuff in hyderabad but till then i mean whatever i'm doing right now that is this thing at 25% throttle is basically faster than my Laura stage 2 at full throttle that's how fast this thing is and i mean 576 horsepower out of a 2 liter four cylinder turbo is no joke i mean you need to be an engineering mastermind to make this thing drivable on a day to day basis and that's the good that's the cool thing about this build i mean this is not some garage queen or occasional race car that shri ram is going to use he is going to drive this car today from pune all the way back to his hometown in hyderabad he's going to drive it it's not going to be transported on a tow truck or a flatbed or anything like that it's going to be driven that much that's how reliable this car has been engineered to be and reliable is something that should be taken with an asterisk of course because it still is a stage 3 plus almost 600 bhp all wheel drive monster so you have to be on your tippy toes when you're doing something crazy like what shri ram is doing but since he is the master coder of e tuners india and he has unlimited resources he can do whatever the hell he wants <sighs> what a car and the thing is the best part about this build is that it has a holdex all wheel drive system primarily as you guys know an holdex all wheel drive system is front wheel drive biased but the thing is since this car has so much horsepower and so much torque i'm pretty sure the all wheel drive system is almost engaged all of the time because that's how much power and torque this thing can build when you are actually pushing it and the holdex all wheel drive system is a must if you are doing anything which is stage 3 because 
the power is just so overwhelming to the front wheels that you cannot catch grip and the torque steer with a 400 plus bhp front wheel drive car is insane so i mean it's really not advisable to have a front wheel drive car with that much amount of power so if you're doing something like this even if it's a stage 3 build please do get a Holdex all-wheel drive system that is a must even if it costs 10 lakh rupees to do but it will completely change the way this car handles behaves and is just driving in general the upgraded TTS calipers deliver some great braking performance which is a must for something that can possibly do a quarter mile in under 11 seconds Sriram is currently running this thing on stock VRS suspension but he has a set of KWs lying around somewhere but he refuses to install them unless and until some sort of a drag race is taking place. Talking about drag races, when it comes to extracting every bit of performance during a drag race, this car will be completely stripped and the weight sharing will be so serious that the fender, boot and hood will all be replaced with fiberglass panels. Talking about money, Sriram is so deep down the rabbit hole and has spent so much money, he only has lost track. And the amount of parts and spares needed for this build is enough to create another VRS just from the spares. So this has been our time with the VRS 600 and what are my final thoughts on it? Well first of all this is not a build that any normal enthusiast can get up and do. You need to have a lot of resources, a lot of commitment and a lot of money to pull something like this off. That's why it took over 2-3 to three months since the last video came out. Because the thing is it takes a lot of time to perfect such a complex and technical build. That's why Sriram wanted to perfect this and then only get it out on the onto the road. This is a car which he's going to drive all the way from Pune to Bangalore where he stays and hopefully and maybe it will not give him any sort of problems because these guys have worked so hard in fine tuning it and getting it to its optimum working condition and that's why this build is so cool because it works just like any other VRS on the road except it can literally blow your brains off if you poke the accelerator a little bit too much. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully we will be creating more content with the VRS 600 in the future. We might be going to Hyderabad so maybe over there we will get another video out on this thing. Until then, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, check out our new website thedrivershub.com where we have also started TDH Classifieds where you can buy and sell cool tuner cars just like this. We have a stage 3 VRS 245 for sale on TDH Classified so check that out. Till then, this was Soham Saraf, I will see you in the next one.